Hundreds of protesters blocked the Odokwane axis of the Calabar Itu Federal Highway, and uh, that halted the ongoing construction work on the road over the federal government's refusal to pay compensation for the destruction of houses and the means of livelihood of those affected. Motorists were stranded for more than 30 minutes when the protesters took to the major highway. The protesters carried placards with various inscriptions, pleading with the Ministry of Works to appeal to the NMPCL to pay them their compensation. Speaking on behalf of the protesters, the Secretary Concerned Youth of Odupani Local Government Area, Ekwanyanga Kiba, gave the federal government a seven-day ultimatum to pay compensation to all claimants, failure of which he said would lead to a permanent closure and stoppage of work on the road. All the truth, we will take the enjoy ourselves. Let's go free from there. We're going to abolish it. I'm a blind woman. Baby, my money. We're not going to be here. 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 Everything don't scatter. For villains. Everything don't scatter. For villains. How we going to manage this life? How are we going to manage? This press briefing should serve as an admonishment to the concerned authorities, be it the presidency, be it the Federal Minister of Housing, be it NMPC, be it FIRS, be it Federal Minister of Finance, and so on. We will shut down all outgoing constructions, activities being carried out in the Rukman Law Government area. The utilization of Rukman to correct the realization project seven days from today, they should take notice that after seven days, we will shut this road in perpetuity. Our host communities in Urukpan have demonstrated so long a true spirit of patriotism by listening to the controllers of works, past and present, and allowing Julius Berger and Semate move their equipment into our lands without any form of compensation. 